Hi everybody, welcome back to the series on how to install Omeka Classic onto a LAMP server. In this video we're going to cover how to create a MySQL database. I want to get started by going to the Omeka.org website, click on Omeka Classic, user manual, and we are now installing and so you'll see here that we have seven easy steps for installing with LAMP server. Um, this series will go through uh, all seven of those steps. Uh, so far we have covered in the first video uh, preparing to install. Uh, we didn't talk about upgrading your system but if you need to do so here are some helpful links to do that. What we're going to look at right now is how to create a MySQL database. And if you're anything like me um, I don't use MySQL on a regular basis. Um, I use it to kind of build my development environments. So um, I often find that I need I need help. I need a little bit of hand-holding and the old Omeka installation instructions were really good about uh, showing you how to create uh, the MySQL database. Um, and so what I'm going to do is show you what I do when I encounter a website that has taken away documentation that I found really useful. Um, I'm going to open a new browser and I'm going to go to the Wayback Machine, which is a nice service provided by the Internet Archive. Um, it indexes, stores and indexes uh, web websites. Um, so any any website that, that you want to visit that's no longer around, you can come and check this out and see if perhaps you can find it here. I'm going to type in omeka.org. As you can see, I've done this a few times. And so we're given a list of dates that we can uh, grab snapshots from. And I know that in August, I was using this website of 2017, so I'm just going to arbitrarily pick 29 and we get this page. Sometimes you get a, a 303 error or something like that. Just wait, it should load. Um, in this in this instance it it didn't happen. Um, so looking at the old documentation oh, 301 response crawl time. All we need to do is wait. And now that we've gotten to this page we want to go to preparing to install and on this page, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a install on Ubuntu using Terminal. Um, and if you're using Fedora or OpenSUSE, you could uh, use one of these. I'm going to click on that. And on this page, if we scroll down, um, let's see, under Step 3, Create MySQL Database. Um, we have in some instructions on how to get in. I'm particularly interested in these commands here uh, simply because I don't have them memorized. So what I'm going to do is pull this off to the side and I'm just going to use that as um, as a reference for me. So that's what I'm using. If you want to kind of follow along on that sheet you can you can open it up yourself following the same the same path. So the first thing I'm going to do is log into MySQL and I do that with uh, mysql uh, dash u and root and dash p for password. Enter. Okay, so I am now in my SQL. And what I need to do is create my database. So we do that by uh, running the command create database and I'm going to call it Omeka and also from the instructions you see that um, make sure uh, the database is set to UTF-8 um, and the char set is set to UTF-8 so we're gonna make sure that happens I don't know if that's the default with my SQL or not um, but we are going to we are going to do that so we are going to do that by running uh, create database Omeka and then de default character set UTF-8 and 
default collate utf8 underscore general underscore ci and semicolon enter okay so we've created our Omeka database now we need to be sure to put in the proper privileges um, to do that we have to type out this very long command um, grant all privileges on Omeka dot asterisk two and here we need to put in our Ubuntu or Debian or Linux name username uh, for the system for the operating system and I'm using lib admin and at local host and we want identified by password and this is uh, the password for that user um, if you're doing a production server I would highly recommend not using password and semicolon and enter okay so we see we have a warning here I just want to check that out and we'll type in show warnings oops semicolon using grant for creating new user is deprecated and will be removed so um, so it looks like rather than using grant we want to use create new user um, in the future uh, good to know okay so now we want to um, run one more command um, flush privileges Colon. and I would be lying if I said I know what that does um, I just see it done all the time and assume it is best practice so we we'll run that and then finally quit to get out of my SQL and so now we have our uh, MySQL database up and running so we have created our uh, MySQL database um, we have the database host name, which is um, localhost, because uh, I'm using a, I'm not using a production server, um, and the database name, which is Omeka, uh, the database's username, which is libadmin, and the database's user's password. So we have all of that put into the table, and we also put in the UTF code that uh, was necessary. So what we'll do is we'll end here, and in the next video we will download the latest version of Omeka, and um, I think we'll do step three here too. Uh, so see you in the next video.